They just got their photos taken right over here. Guys, welcome back to the channel. It's James and Haley. We're here at Epcot on Thanksgiving Day. Um, surprisingly, it's not too busy. So we're gonna hang out, walk around, maybe have some treats, and probably ride a couple rides because the rides, the lines seem pretty short. So uh, let's have a blast. Come along. First up is Finding Nemo. Here comes our shells. It's dark, but do you like this ride? Yeah. I think it's nice because it's peaceful. It makes some... me want to sleep. Nemo! Come out, come out, oh, let's go explore, explore, explore. Let's go explore the big blue world. Hey, Mr. Ray, we can't explore without Nemo. I'm sure we'll see him any minute now. Nemo! So, you know that. I do. We went on a huge adventure together. <laughs> There's the dolphin. Shark World is still closed, as well as Turtle Talk with Crush. We really do enjoy this show. You got designated spots. You go this way, go in, so you can park the stroller. Thankfully, we don't have a stroller, so this helps us. Catching butterflies, I think. Oh, I think he's hungry. He wants some honey or something. Next stop is Journey into Imagination with Figment. Not my favorite, I don't like the smell. There's so many things going on in this hallway. These are moving. You got a phone ringing in there. All kinds of noises. Here everybody goes into the imagination. I guess a good thing is, is maybe the mask will help with the smell. I sure hope so, because I hate the smell. I don't like skunks. If human senses can help capture your imagination. Oh, oh, can I go too? Absolutely not. Uh, this is one of our discoveries, the figment of imagination. Yeah, I know all about the senses. There's sight, sound, smell, touch, goochie goochie go, and taste. Taste my chicken. No, I know what you're out of my sight. Out of sight? Okay, come on everybody, here we go! Fake to fear! But you've got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears, it's about listening with your imagination. <laughs> now I think the eye chart to test your vision. Now, all together, if you would please read line three <laughs> and hit it. With your G-M-G-M-T, you can see things differently. Oh no, here comes this part. I really wish it was just coffee or vanilla, even a rose, but not skunk. Figment's fun house. Everything's upside down. Figment is not that bad. I do like the song, and I like the tune, and the lyrics are really good. But the smell, I hate the smell. But it wasn't too bad. I'd definitely write it again. It is a very peaceful night. 
this little backdrop is pretty cool to get some nice photos of this for Festival of the Holidays. I like this one. Then of course you've got the beautiful tree right down the middle. I think we need one of these at the house. Taylor's in the box and was hoping for some clapping, but no, we did not get any clapping. We can see the booths getting ready for Festival of the Holidays tomorrow. Nice touch of Christmas lights out. So we're inside one of the only relaxation stations here at Epcot and we had to stop to get some water and remove our face coverings. Even though it's not super hot right now, it is a nice relief um, just to kind of come in, hang out a little bit. Tyler and Haley both remember when we came and had lunch, actually no, it was breakfast here, and met some of the, the character princesses, which was a lot of fun. Uh, it's, it's amazing how many things you do that you don't think you remember until you actually in that, you're in that spot and then boom, the memory is there. Right, Tyler? Hopefully you guys enjoy Tyler's silly face because uh, you gotta have some fun with it too. Epcot's pretty at night. Tomorrow's the start of Festival of the Holidays, and it's supposed to be the start of Voices of Liberty coming out here to sing for us again. That's going to be exciting. Our next stop is over here in France, and I think this is where we're going to pick up our treat. And it looks like somebody has stolen Remy right here in France. Where did he go? And for tonight's treat, we're going to be eating at one of our favorite ice cream shops here in France. So Tyler got the mint chocolate chip. Is it good? Then Haley got pina colada. She seems to like it. And I think ours is still coming. All right, this is ours. It's a little dark, but we got the same as we did last time. The mint chocolate chip and the candied cherry peanut fudge if I remember correctly but man this looks so good I can't tell if they're oh it looks like they're closing it looks like somebody was here performing that's kind of cool to see live music again I enjoy all these lights out here I really want some of these for the porch in the backyard just brings a nice warm ambience to the to the whole space And we're heading over to, I think, one of our last attractions. Maybe we'll ride Soren. But we're going to go to Living with the Land to see some Christmas lights. Mickey's over there saying hello to everybody. And it's only showing to be 10 minutes, which is always a plus. I love all the amazing colors and drawings and paintings here. And some good speech. Here comes the Christmas lights. Are exploring innovative ways to produce beautiful harvests now and into the future. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been some cool little icicles over there. For people living in the tropics, many are rich in. I like these little things in the ground. Oh, that's well adapted to growing in less than ideal. That's really neat. Some, like the water lily, the flower petals, are edible. The starchy root of the plant has long been used to make flour for growing on Oh man, look at that Mickey with a Christmas hat with a Santa hat. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, making more than This one's cool. It's a little wreath made of cotton. There's actually a lot of cotton out there right now. It's a lot of sunflowers too. Look, there's presents. There's anything in there for me? It's like pressed turkey to look yeah, probably. These plants are definitely on their way at work here as our integrated pest management program. By populating our greenhouses with beneficial over 27,000 heads of lettuce a year in this one small There's area. There's a Mickey. More lights. And more presents. Oh, it looks like they were just unwrapping presents right there. 
Look, there's a couple Christmas trees over there too. Oh, I really like these little balls too. They'll light up and change colors. May include a source of fertilizer for the plants, and the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. It's another great way to produce more while using less. And here is the end of our Christmas light journey at Living with the Land. We'd love to ride Soren, but it's just too busy right now. Guys, thank you all so much for watching this. Hopefully you enjoyed it. The ice cream was amazing. And even though we didn't get to ride a whole lot of rides, we still had a blast. Thank you again for watching. If you like what you saw, please share with your friends and leave a like down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you can see our future content. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. And always hesitating. Kryptonite desire set my heart afire. Heart on fire. Set my heart afire.